In this video, we will be showing how to use the page switch. So page switch, page switching is useful when we want to change the state of a character. And the context that I'll use is having our character acquire a power up. And so here we have our um, player character Kodu and I'll program him to move. And in the world, I will put a ammo on the map so we want it that when Kodu bumps into the ammo, he'll be able to shoot. Here if we play the game and he bumps into the ammo, nothing will happen. But we can program um, our character so that um, when he bumps into the ammo, then we will use this page switch. So switch, we'll have him switch to page 2. And to navigate to page 2, we press the right trigger. And here we're on page 2. We have to reprogram how our character moves. And we can also, um, or we should also designate what button to press um, to have him shoot. And here I will use the right trigger. So when we press the right trigger, then our character will shoot a missile. And now if we play the game, we see that right now Kodu can't shoot, but once he bumps into this missile, then he acquires the ability to shoot. Um, we can go further by having the missile disappear when Kodu um, runs into him. So here, we can go to the programming screen for the missile and say that when it bumps into Kodu, then um, it will vanish, so the vanish tile is under combat, and then vanish, and you have to specify that you want me, as in the missile, to vanish. So here, Kodu bumps into the missile, it disappears, and he's able to shoot. So that's one example of page switching. Um, the other example is inline switching. So inline switching is useful when you want to run two pages at the same time. So in this, um, to continue our example, I can add another power up. So here, I will add a coin. So we have our coin and our ammo. And I'll also program the coin to disappear when um, Kodu bumps into it. So when it bumps into Kodu, then vanish me. Okay. So here we see that um, if you bump into the missile, then you, you're able to shoot. And here if we bump into the coin, it disappears but nothing happens. So that means we have to program Kodu. Here for Kodu, we'll um, go to page 2. And on page 2, we'll say that when, um, when he doesn't see the coin, so that's when C, coin, not. So when he doesn't see the coin, we will have him in line with page 3. So on page 3, we'll say that when we press the left trigger, he will be able to shoot um, blips. So now it's reading that um, on page 2, he's able to shoot, um, he's able to shoot the missiles, and whenever he doesn't see the coin, um, he'll be able to shoot the blips. So we can play this one last time. Here, Kodu is not able to shoot the missile or the blips. He runs into the ammo, and he's able to shoot missiles, but not the blips. And now if we bump into the coin, he's able to shoot blips as well as missiles. So that is one example of how you can use page switching and inline switching.